onto this and cut the piece of wood out. Brilliant. And that's Brilliant. made out, I think, four millimeter plywood. And then that's kind of our prototype. Yeah, I like that. It's about uh, 290 millimeters long. Yeah. And then this is our cockpit area, which is going to be here. And that's where the passenger is going to sit. It's around about, yeah. yeah, it's about 380 millimeters long, mm -hmm. um, 25 millimeters thick, and about 75 millimeters wide. And that's your model that I remember you making it now. Yes. I do like that. Very excited yeah. for this project. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Look forward to the next stages then, Jake. How are we going to cut this out? Uh, we're going to cut this out maybe on the bandsaw or by hand. It's a lovely bit of timber there. Oh, we'll look forward to you cutting it on the, uh, oh, the bandsaw. Pad. Hi Jake, I thought in this okay. clip you were going to show them a little bit about the, uh, the engine cutting out and the, uh, the air intake part there, that hollow there. Is that right Jake? Yeah, so to make the air intake we've got a piece of wood that's the same size as that bit on the chassis there. So when we cut that out, it will look like that basically. Yeah. I can and the way we're going to cut out that hole yeah. there, also known as that bit, I've marked it out. So that's about 20 mil there. And then I think it's about 40, 50 millimeters long. And it's at an angle there. So you come in with the saw, cut at an angle, and then cut down there. And it will just pop out if you use and it. And that will form that hole there. Yeah. I think the viewers will understand as we go. I notice you've got a template here you've used. Mm-hmm. I presume. Oh yes, it goes like that. Okay. Yeah. Goes like that. Okay. Good idea to have a template. Right. Okay. And this part here, I was going to mention the hole cut out for that. Um. Yeah. We're going to use a force a bit. Right. And in our case, it's 30 mil force in a bit. And, and you there. just drill all the way down and you do about three holes and then that's how you get the length. Right, okay. Well, let's get on with this piece here, cutting the engine and the air intake part. Right. And there's your marking out there. So let's crack on with this. So I'm gonna clamp it in the vise. I'm gonna clamp it at an angle actually, so I can keep the saw level. <coughs> And we're cutting the intake hole first, and then we're gonna cut like the little wavy design out. So. And then okay. now we can just go in from there. Yeah. You may want to turn your work, but I've done this so you can see Trying to come from what we're doing. And that's what I'm doing. Good. There we go. And then we're just going to clean it up with a chisel later on. But that's the uh, main design. To go I there. Can, oh, I can see now. So yes. it's the shape you've got to cut out on the top. It's like a mini wedge. Yeah. And then that shape there, we're going to cut out with a coping saw. Which looks like that. Okay. So perhaps I'll come back to the next clip with that part cut out. Um, just to speed things up. Yeah. Very good, Jake. I just did the coping saw by turning the blade anti-clockwise and then moving these two little nubs like that and then tightening the blade clockwise with the handle and then I cut round that like that and if the uh, section of timber is quite thin you can even use a thread saw. Okay, so that now, Jake, can you show me how it features on the car? Of course it needs to be sanding, uh, sand up a little bit better and bit of finishing but that's how it's meant to go. So that goes from there to there. Yeah. So along those lines there. I got you. Is that right? So along those lines? Yeah. And then we can smoothen this off. Plain that edge. Plain that edge. So it's got that slight is it there? Yeah, there's a slight groove. 
keep it nice and neat. A little bit of sanding to do there, I've noticed. And do the same. Now we've just cut out the uh, air intake for the engine. It's going to go there on the car. We'll plane it down and sand it. And we'll plane that corner so it has a slight groove like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that detail. Mm -hmm. So then on this car, it will go right there. And we'll just make sure everything's very precise and it looks good before we glue it all together. Of course, on the more modern sports cars, and now they'll be electric, they'll still have some sort of cooling, so I imagine they'll still have some air type intake like that. Yes. Okay, we've got a bit of scrap wood here from the project to make these little bits that kind of look like suspension on the car. So I just pointed out again, which part is it we're making? This bit here. Okay, yeah. Now this bit, uh, it does need to be quite precise, but the way I found is you can trace out the bottom to get the general shape like that. Mm, good idea. And then all you have to do for the top is cut it at an angle just like that really, mm -hmm. to then have that effect. I can see you very carefully filed it as well, mm. chamfered the edges, that angle. Quite cleverly done actually, Jake. Yeah. well done, and all the same. Okay, well, um, you do that and I'll come back to you in the last bit. Okay. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have a bandsaw, but if you're 15 and very supervised, you can also use one. But for most of the viewers, you're gonna have to use a tenon saw, and this just makes the process a little bit easier. Okay, I agree, so, supervised. <laughs> There. Sorry about that. And then we'll have to tr trim it. And then for this next part, you kind of just estimate where you go from the top to about halfway down the piece of wood. Maybe just a bit more, so probably there actually. And then that's one part you cut off with the tenon saw. Okay, okay. Well, you know, I think that um, gives them an idea of going on there. Okay, and we trim it. So, yeah. Make it the right size. Okay. Okay, Jake, how's it going? Uh, I've used a 30mm forcing a bit to get these holes here. That's just the waste removal. And that's the cockpit for the driver, yeah? Yes, which um, will be there. I can see you've marked out very carefully the uh, overall shape of this part here. Mm -hmm. Great, it looks really good. And Jake. then I'll get a chisel and I'll trim these edges off so they're all straight. Oh yes, well done. Well, well done, Jake. Hi, Jake. Okay. Is that a little man there you've made? Well, only half of a person, but yes. <laughs> and uh, it's for the F1 car here, which I've covering, currently got clamped in the vise because I've got a four millimeter drill bit in the drill. And I'm gonna drill all the way through the body so you can have wheels. So I can put the wheels on just like that. Wow. And I'm going to be using a bit of studding okay. to go right through for the axles. Studding, so that's threaded bar. Yes. You've done a very good job on the rear there. And I like the spoiler going on on the back. So yeah. Are you going to keep that design? Uh, yeah, I may change it. I did have this one originally. Let's have a look. Like that. Now I can see that's made out of solid pine and the other one's made out of plywood. Yeah. I will probably use pine if I do do this again. Right, okay. Just because uh, it doesn't break out like in the same way of plywood. No. So we're going to drill a hole through, just point to the viewers the piece we're going to have to drill. So That's going to be very, the... very hard to get right. Mm -hmm. And we're going to drill all the way through from that side, obviously to this side. What we'll have to do is go in about halfway this side. And going about halfway this side as well. Okay, right, let's get that done and Okay come back Jake, with you. talk to me about the cockpit for the, the actual racing driver in there. Well um we've got the steering wheel here. That's a little bit of lever to just cover up the bottom. Yeah. So the steering wheel I'll stick in like that, the racing driver. I have uh, just cut a small bit of wood 
in a round shape, sanded it off slightly, and then I've cut a joint there for his arms. Oh yeah, because the glue wasn't strong enough over that tiny area, and then the little man should just slot in like that. That's so neat. Just like that, and then it can look like he's steering. Yeah. Although his arms should probably be a little bit longer. Well, he's relaxing at the moment. Yeah. Jake. I like that. And you've got the head. Where do you get the head from? The head, uh, it was from a, a doll's house. Uh, so you know you get those doll toys. Yeah. It was the head from those. Okay, show me the packet. These are slightly larger ones, oh, yeah. but I got the smaller version. 